the Missouri National Guard highlight reel. Missouri National Guard, always ready, always there. Tiger fans, Ben Arnett here at Mizzou Arena, giving you your first peek at the 2013-2014 Missouri men's and women's basketball teams. It was a pair of black and gold scrimmages here at Mizzou Arena on Tuesday night. Let's start with Frank Haith's men's squad coming off an NCAA tournament appearance. Frank getting his troops fired up for this one. Early going, it was all black team in control. Ryan Rossberg with the dunk. Wouldn't be his last on the night. The black team jumped out to a 10 to three lead. This is Jordan Clarkson, the Tulsa transfer with the runner. Not a bad way to start off his first year of eligibility with Mizzou. Then off the steal, the black team gets it back and it'll be Jonathan Williams III. J3 cleans up a miss and dunks it home. Beginning of a big night for J3. The gold team responds though. Ernest Ross off the steal. Takes it in to put the gold up by a point. Just before halftime, remember I said Ryan Rossberg would be back. There he is with another slam. He finished with 16 points and eight rebounds. Black led by a pair at the half. Second half, more J3. First the dunk. He had eight points. Then the D. One of his two blocks for Jonathan Williams III to go along with 11 rebounds. Jabari Brown had 15 points on the night, including this coast to coast bucket for two. It was tied up at 46. Later, it's Brown dishing on the break. He lobs it off the glass to his buddy Ernest Ross for two. And tied at 61 with under a minute to play. It's that connection once again. Brown the dish, Ross the finish. 63-61, the gold team wins, led by Ernest Ross, who led all scores with 24 points. Just pretty much looking, you know, to score at any opportunity I get, you know, driving the lane, attacking the lane, and knocking down open shots and rebounding and putting back offensive rebounds. That's pretty much what I'm looking forward to doing this year. Uh, just play hard, play aggressive, try to get as many rebounds as I can. I know offense going to come, and just try, let's try to play hard. How about Robin Pinchton's women's team? They also put in work on Tuesday night. First bucket of the scrimmage goes to who else? Morgan I, the sharpshooter from Montrose with a three. The black team was on top three nothing, and the black team controlled much of the first half. Here's Bree Coolis off the steal, and she will score. The black team was up by six, as Coolis had a nice night. It was a close game down the stretch. Second half, Bree Coolis responds. She hits a three of her own that puts the black team back up by a point with about one minute to play. But it was a freshman who scored the winning basket. It's Jordan Frericks to put the gold up to stay. Gold wins 29-26, and Coach Pinchton saw plenty to like in her team's first scrimmage. A lot of positives. I mean, we're those shots, a lot of shots were right there, rolling off the rim. Uh, defensively, we got to get better, but playing against yourselves is always tough too. And they've been doing that all summer long into the non or into the preseason. But definitely a lot of stuff to work with. Great night for both the men's and women's basketball teams. Want to remind you, we've got a great event coming up the night before the homecoming game, Friday, October 25th. Mizzou men's basketball returns to the Hearns. Not only will the Tigers open up their exhibition season that night, we'll also honor the 1993-94 Big 8 champions. Every single member of the 1994 team is expected to be back at the Hearns Center to be recognized that night. And we hope to see all of you there 7 o'clock Friday the 25th at the Hearns Center. At Mizzou Arena, I'm Ben Arnett for the Mizzou Network.